and only on 13 News Now. For the first time, we are hearing from the first Newport News Sheriff's deputies who arrived at Rich Neck Elementary School after that six-year-old boy shot his teacher. We told you this week a special grand jury report reveals a security issue at the school slowed down the emergency response. Angelique Arantock spoke with the deputies about that day. Angelique. Hey guys, this nearly 30 page report released this week by the special grand jury describes quote security risks either not addressed or dismissed by administrators at Richneck Elementary School leading up to the shooting. That includes a front door buzzing system broken for weeks. Deputies tell me they didn't know about this and that's why they say they couldn't get into the building right away last January. Already in the northern section of the city, Corporal Blythe and Master Deputy Briggs with Newport News Sheriff's Office rushed to Richneck Elementary School in just a couple of minutes. They heard the call initially about an active shooter. Disbelief and then time to go to work. A special grand jury investigated the 2023 incident. The 11-member panel discovered Blythe and Briggs had their guns drawn but couldn't get through the school's front door. The two estimate waiting maybe 30 to 40 seconds alongside at least two Newport News police officers who got there shortly after them. We're playing a what-if game. They tried banging on the door and they didn't think a baton could crack the glass window. We were thinking about shooting out the glass or try to open the door. So I mean something. Then they recall a custodian seeing them and letting them in. If there were multiple sh more shots going off, we would have busted the glass immediately. The deputies say their first priority was finding the threat and stopping it. Blythe remembers going into Abby's Werner's classroom and finding another school employee bear hugging the six year old shooter to control him. Extremely angry and violent. He then recalls seeing the child's weapon jammed. The ejecting shell can get caught up in the slide and that's what happened then jammed this gun so there was only one round fired the boy shot once hitting Werner. the special grand jury calls the law enforcement response last january prompt efficient and admirable and look while they're appreciative of the praise the deputies i spoke with described their actions only as natural instinct and following training back to you all right, thank you, Angelique. And in addition to the boy's mother, Deja Taylor, former Rich Neck assistant principal Ebony Parker faces criminal charges following the shooting. A special grand jury accuses Ebony Parker of failing to act on several complaints the day of the shooting.